welcome everybody to the final full week of the Cinematologist's Oktoberfest. This final week we're looking into some of the most supernatural thrillers that we've seen in recent and distant years. This will range in many different forms from demons, ghosts, supernatural entities of all kinds. Vincent and I are happy to bring you this week of Oktoberfest, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the Fright Fest. The Shining represents Stanley Kubrick's array into horror storytelling, or as close as he would come to it. It's an adaptation of the Stephen King novel of the same name, but this needs no introduction because everyone knows this one. A family looks over a remote hotel for the winter, and the haunted history of the hotel takes its toll on the unlucky guests. Jack Torrance, played by Jack Nicholson, descends into a mad stupor. Whether or not it's brought on by this seemingly haunted hotel, is mostly left to us to decide. Jack's state of rage is matched with all-around creepy visuals throughout the hotel. We all know about the twins in the hallway, parodied countless times, whatever the fuck this is, and lots of other spooky scenes. Though Nicholson puts forth a great performance, it's not much different than most of his work. Scatman Crothers is also in the film as the hotel caretaker. Stanley Kubrick was a madman for this shoot. There's stories of him slapping Shelley Duvall on set and making actors repeat takes hundreds of times to create a stressful and hostile atmosphere for the film. He took this movie to places people didn't think it could go and created one of the most bizarre horror films of all time. Stephen King admittedly hates this movie as he finds it unfaithful to the source material. Did you like Kubrick's film of The Shining? No. Cold. I'm not a cold guy. I mean, uh, I think one of the things that people relate to in my books is there's a warmth, there's a reaching out and saying to the reader, uh, I want you to be a part of this. And with Kubrick's The Shining, I felt that it was very cold. Shelley Duvall as Wendy is really one of the most misogynistic characters ever put on film. She's basically just there to scream and be stupid. And that's not the woman that I wrote about. Did you talk to Kubrick about it? I met him on the set. I was over in England, just out on that one meeting that I thought that he was a very compulsive, almost like anal man. Faithful or not, this film is an enigmatic and haunting picture that many refer to as the best Stephen King movie. How ironic. 